Hey, I was minding my own business, having my morning cup of coffee, and then I see this cake smeared across the Mona Lisa. Let's get into it. So for reasons unknown, there's this undying fascination with the Mona Lisa. Now it was painted in 1503 to 1519, which is significant because Leonardo da Vinci does die in 1519. So if the painting is completely finished, it's still up for debate. But the portrait hangs behind a bulletproof glass inside the Louvre Museum. And undoubtedly it's one of the most famous pieces there and why thousands of people flocking up to the painting every day to see the tiny little painting. I mean, it's 77 centimetres by, what, 27 centimetres? It's quite small when you compare it to other greats. But anyway, now I'm no conservator, so I can't give you the full implications of what was... Sorry, my phone died. Um, as I said, I'm not a conservator, so I can't tell you the full implications if food was to contaminate the surface. But what we can talk about is why it's protected by bulletproof glass and why is it nationally significant? So... There have been four known attempts on vandalising the Mona Lisa. In 1956, the lower half was doused in acid whilst on temporary loan to a museum in the south of France. In the same year, it was also vandalised by an individual who threw a rock at the painting, which resulted in a chip in the painting, which was later repaired. This is where the bulletproof glass comes in. Then, in 1974, it was vandalised again, but with red spray paint, to signify the lack of accessibility in the museum. Then, there's the example of why you shouldn't drink next to anything priceless. In 2009, individuals throw a cup of something, of Starbucks or something, at the painting. So, yes, it's gone through a lot. But what made the Mona Lisa quite significant and a sensation around the world was when it was stolen in 1911. And just to put it into context, the Louvre had already started putting glass in front of the priceless paintings from 1910 to avoid further vandalism to some of its works. It took about two years before they found the painting again and it was actually in Florence where it was sold to an Italian art dealer. So it was really from that moment that it became sensationalised because it was stolen by an employee two years prior. And yes, now it's the Mona Lisa. Oh and fun fact, Napoleon was fascinated by her and even had it in his private quarters whilst he was in power. <laughs> Les artistes, là vous y pensez à la terre. Les 